Hey guys, it's Derek from DNK Reptiles. Welcome back to the channel. Um, today we're going to be doing a video. I'm going to answer a question here first of all that I've been getting from some viewers. I'm going to show you our king snake today. I know I haven't done that in a while. Um, but I'm also going to show you um, the male rats that we pulled from our first litter um, of babies. And then we'll be weaning our second litter um, of babies on the third of the month coming up. Um, so. We're going to do that. I'm also going to give you guys a little panoramic view of the room. I did move things around. As you can tell, the flag is now behind me, um, along with the spider girl and Monty, which I'll show you um, here in a minute. I moved that, some of those around, um, as you can see. So I'll give, show you all that. But before I do that, um, if you're new to our channel, uh, please give us a like. Uh, hit that subscribe button. Pound that notification bell above so that you don't miss another one of our videos. Um, Drop us a comment box, a comment below, guys. Uh, let us know um, which you like, if you like our videos. Um, if there's something you want to see, let us know in the comment box below. We'll be glad to chat with you. Um, take it into consideration because um, all of you guys help us grow our channel. So um, the more of you get, the more viewers we have, um, the faster our channel grows. So make sure that you hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and pound the notification bell. Um, drop us a comment. Um, you can also shoot us an email at dkreptiles2022 at gmail.com. That would be great. be glad to chat with you there as well. Uh, so we're going to get into the video here. Um, but before I do that, let me, let me talk about the question that I've been getting from some of our viewers about our rats and our snakes um, and why I keep those my rats in my snake room. Um, the reason I do that, guys, right now is because that's, I only have, I'm limited on space um, of where I can, where I can put my rats and snakes. I do plan on, I do have a shed outside of my house that I do plan on put, putting my rats into. I've got to get it uh, set up for them. Um, so once I do that, I'll move my rats out of my snake room. They'll go outside in the shed and my, and it'll just be my snakes in my snake room. Um, again, like I said, the only reason my rats are in here right now, uh, I think I told this to one of the people that asked. The reason I have them in here right now is because I don't have another place to keep them right now. So eventually they will go outside to my shed and it'll just be the snakes in here um, like it was in the first few videos that we did. Uh, so that's why we're doing that, guys. Um, that's why we're keeping our rats and our snakes in the snake room right now. Um, because I do, I am gonna feed my own my own collection, and I wanted to get it started, and so it was put the rats in the same room or don't get the rats at all, um, and I want to be as a uh, be as efficient as possible, so I chose to put the rats in the same room for right now. Um, again, they will be moving at a later time. All right, guys. So let me turn this camera around. I'm gonna give you a panoramic view of what we did in the snake room. Um, if you know, if you've watched our videos before, you know I like to rearrange things. It's always changing here. Um, there'll be a couple of videos where you'll see it the same, and then the next time you come, it's gonna be totally different. That's just the way I work, guys. Um, I do have to get ready to go to work. I'm in the process of that right now, but I wanted to get down here and make a video, a quick video for you guys, um, because I haven't done so since our last feeding update. So I wanted to get down here and do that. So let me turn the camera around. I'm gonna give you guys a quick pan around the view. I'm gonna show off our king snake over here. I haven't done that since we got him. Um, and I'm gonna show off uh, the males that we pulled out of our, our first litter of rats. So give me just a second here, guys. All right, sorry about the wall there. All right, so let's look at these guys first since we're over here. So these are the males, all the males that I pulled out of our first uh, litter of rats um, and I will be weaning the second litter um, on the third of this coming month um, but these are all the males I do have a few of these guys that are going to new homes to be breeders for someone else um, but yeah that's all the males that we pulled out of the first litter guys some of them are hiding that's not even all of them some of them are hiding in there um, and I'll be putting all the males from the second litter in here well as well this is our holdout and our grow out tank for males so there's our male, our male breeders, our current ones that are big enough to breed. Um, the next male that I put in with our females currently is going to be the hairless, which is right there, um, Dobby. Our big male there, he's going to be going to a new home as well to be a breeder for someone else. Um, I'm getting another male coming in to replace him. And then, so this is the rat side of the room. I do have them on different sides. 
Um, so these are the, there's the female enclosure and then I've got the two male enclosures. Um, we come around here, I did move our OD girl Una over here. So that's her enclosure. We still have our grow out rack right there where it was. Um, and it, just in case you guys are wondering, um, I do have this room being, the air is being circulated so I'm not getting a big buildup of, of, uh, of a rodent smell or urine. Um, there's a fan right there as you can see. Um, I've also got another one up here in the doorway that's pushing air from the other side in um, and that fan helps push it out over there. So the air is being circulated. Um, like I said before, I did take this rack down right here. Um, I just left one shelf and I've got the, our normal guy Monty over there and then our spider um, are sitting there. And then over here on the table guys, um, I went ahead and put that other shelf over here. Um, up there on top is our pastel inchy female that we got from Jason Burton. I showed her off in our last uh, video or the video before that I think. Um, so she's doing well. Um, gonna be. This is a feeding week for us so we will be putting out a feeding update as well this week at some point. So that is our GHI 100% Het Clown uh, male that we got from Large Caliber. And then this is our king snake, guys. Um, and this is who I wanted to show you guys before I get off here and go to work. So this is Vader. I showed him when we got him to you guys. This is my wife's pet. Um, she's been talking about breeding him, but I don't know if we're going to do that. Um, but this is Vader. He is a Florida king snake. Um, again, he's just a pet. I have no intentions on breeding him, even if my wife wants to. Um, he's just a pet. I got him for her for a gift. He's doing good. Um, we did switch him over to Pinky, or I guess you would call him a Pinky Rat, a small, uh, almost fuzzless, hairless, hairless rat, I guess. Um, a, a fuzzy rat. Anyway, um, so he's eating those now. Um, again, I am. We are feeding this week, so that is Vader. Again, Florida King. He's doing good, getting big. Um, so. There's him. Let me get the lid back on, guys. And I'm going to cut this video off because I've got to get to work here. So I wasn't going to, this video was not in plan to be very long. I apologize. Um, but there is our pastel inchy female. Again, we got her from Jason Burton. I'm not going to open the enclosure. Um, I don't have much time, guys. Um, so, and then if you guys haven't seen our signs, I moved our signs as well. Kind of decked out what they're sitting on, um, made it look more visual appealing. Um, so DK, DNK reptiles, um, at the bottom it says for, uh, for the love of snakes and all reptiles. That's what that little red uh, lettering there is at the bottom. Um, and then again, like I said, this is our spider. She did manage to get out on us yesterday. Um, I think it was me. I left one of the, I left her enclosure out open on accident. Um, went up to get a, some water for her, got busy doing something and come back down and she was out. I did, we did find her as you can see. So she's back in the enclosure now, but she did have a nice little free roaming session down here. This is our normal boy, Monty, put him next to her. And then of course, guys, we've got our grow out rack. All those guys are growing out up there on top is our pied. Then you've got our bamboo girl our banana phantom and our pastel possible gargoyle. And then over here is our orange dream girl. Um, so that's the room guys. Um, like I said, I do got fans in here pushing the air around because I've got my rats in here. Um, I answered that question for those of you that were asking earlier about the rats and the snakes, why I keep them there. Um, I have noticed one thing about it guys. Um, I do get a better feeding response keeping my rats in the same room um, when I do go to feed. Um, but I don't recommend that for somebody that's just starting out keeping snakes. Let me turn this back around, guys. So, yeah, again, I don't recommend keeping your rats in the same room if you're just starting out keeping snakes um, because you do get a little, I do get a little bit better of a feeding response. Um, again, I do feed every two weeks, so that might be why I'm getting the feeding response as well. It's not a bad feeding response, but it is better than what I was getting feeding weekly without rats in the room.
Um, and that's just my opinion. Take it as you want it. Um, again, what works for me may not work for you. So you got to do what works best for you. I don't recommend keeping your rats in the same room if you're just starting out uh, keeping snakes, though, um, because you do get a bit better uh, feeding response from the from the snakes. Um, so anyway, guys, I've got to get out of here. I got to get going to work. So um, again, thank you for watching. I hope that I answered the question about the rat, why I keep my rats in the snake room. Um, I hope I got that all answered for you guys. If there's any more questions, feel free to drop them in the comment box. Again, shoot us an email. Um, but thank you for watching. Um, and I will be putting out a feeding update here for Saturday or Sunday after we feed. I'll put this video out today before I go to work here. And uh, until next time, guys, peace.